Um, good evening uh, and welcome this evening to Deborah Esselman, who is uh, joining us from Brazil this evening. Um, thank you very much, Deborah. And um, you are presenting at the uh, NLP conference uh, later this year. So yes. thank you for joining us this evening. Do tell us a little bit more about yourself and your presentation. Okay, thank you for the invitation. Thank you for being here. It's a pleasure for me to be part of that. And unfortunately, last year we had to postpone the conference. But this year will be virtual and I hope next year I'll be alive and presenting in London. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. So I am a psychologist that met NLP one year after I graduated and I fell in love. It was in 1984. Wow. I really, yes, uh, NLP arrived in Brazil in 81, so it, it was very brand new here, and I, I, to, I took classes, uh, it was a basic, really basic classics, because practitioner and master practitioner arrived only in 89, was the, the, the oh first here in Brazil, so I, I was in, uh, in, in basic classics, and and also uh, meeting with people uh, that wanted to study NLP together. So I stayed many years studying um, almost personally because we didn't have the big classes yet here in Brazil. But I fell in love because what I was looking for when I decided to be a psychologist. I used to say that I, I learned more about human being from NLP than in the college. Wow. And I knew how people think about people, right? Yeah. Yeah. And NLP show, shows us how it, it happened inside us. So for me, it's a really, really pleasure to, to have NLP in my life for so many years. I worked more than 30 years already. I have an institute for 30 years. Last year was 30 years, yeah. Wow. Yes, from 2011, I am affiliated with NLPU, Robert Dilts. So it's also an honor for, to do that. So my life, I, I can tell you, is I, can, I can't separate my life from NLP anymore, you know. It's almost impossible uh, to be aware because NLP, everyone knows NLP, even if it's not... Uh, consciousness, yeah. but uh, be aware of that is wonderful. So uh, this is myself, I'm a, I'm a person that loves to study about human being. I, I've been in, in schools like Gurdjieff, Sufism, Kabbalah, mm -hmm. and Shamanism. Uh, in parallel, uh, I study NLP. All my life I started when I was very young and I, I really believe that we are here for something bigger than just work and have money to really evolve. That's why I wanted to talk about this in my presentation. When, when you asked me to do a presentation, for me, it's, it's my life to, to talk about something that can be together now. Uh, systemic NLP as a tool of evolve because uh, after uh, they started to to learn more about quantum quantum physics and so the systemic thoughts and to be present to be in the now so more the systemic NLP approach this all these schools that I was studying all my life because Gurja for many many years ago talked about the present yeah. Nowadays it's normal, it's common to talk about that, but uh, 30 years ago it was not so common. So for me it's part of my life and, and it's very important for me to share this, my thoughts because I don't, I don't think that all people that learn NLP put this together, you know. And in my point of view it's so important to put this together. Because NLP now gives us uh, many strategies and 
and uh, exercises that we can use to be in the now, to be present, to be aware of what's going on since the beginning. But I, I feel that the last years, they enter more because of the quantum physics and all this that they are studying together. Mm -hmm. So this is me and why I, 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 I wanted to talk about this because really it's my life. I, I leave that, you know. <laughs> and, and, and the title of your presentation is Systemic NLP as a human evolution tool. So what will delegates take away from your session at the conference? Yes, I, I want to, to share about the cold state that is a state that Robert Dills developed to be centered and open and connected and holding things. Uh, I want to share about the model, the score model, that in my point of view also open our mind to understand where we, we are and how we can be present. Uh, there, there are also the logical levels when we understand this with the eyes of the evolution. We can understand that uh, what we are in the identity level is more than just to be in, a, in some, um, some, some, some things like, like to be a mother or, or, or a father or a daughter or you know, a professional or something like that. But it's more uh, when, when, I, when you say I am uh, in, in this spiritual level or in this level of evolving, we are talking more about uh, that we are biggest, much bigger than we can imagine as human beings. So for me, this is the truth, and I live this truth in my life. And I teach, when I teach practitioner, master, I used to teach even this ex as an example, because I really, my students come to my classes with these wonders to, to understand, not only, it's also wonderful to know that we are visual and auditory and kinesthetic and and all the cognitive strategies that we have and how the body can move and change uh, with the score dancing, for example, with the, yeah. uh, the Delosia developed so wonderfully that we only have to move and we can feel things inside us. So uh, all these for me are very important to be what we are. Yes. As, as humanity. So uh, in, in the presentation, of course, I, I have more time to do more exercises or things like that. But I, I want to, to share more about these models. I don't know if all the people know that because uh, here in Brazil, I know that people that don't, doesn't take courses from the Robert Gilles and Judy Delosier model, they don't know all this, this strategy, right? So I imagine in London and all, all over the world is the same. So I really want to share these ideas because it's something that improves more the way people can see yourself, <laughs> really. Here, this is very important, of course. Yes. Yeah. We are not only a mind, a cognitive mind, we have a somatic mind and we have the field mind. So we are much bigger, as I, as I said, uh, than just this mind. And for me, I, I always thought like that, but, but in the beginning, when I started to learn NLP, it was only the cognitive mind. So yes. I, I made the parallel by myself because I, I study other things. And for me, it's a pleasure to, to stay in NLP. And, and the last 20 years, I went, I think, 10 or 15 times, I don't know, to the United States, to Santa Cruz, uh, to, to follow all the researches that they, they were doing. Susie Smith and Tim Halborn, you know, all this team, Robert McDonald. They are a team that did many beautiful things. Todd Eppenstein, I, I met Todd Eppenstein, 
I did my training with him. So for me, it's also a present uh, to to have to have have this opportunity to meet him. You know, because I, I use until now his process of addi for addictions, and right. it's very systemic, very yeah. very systemic. Yeah. So it's wonderful to 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 see how NLP developed so many things that we can be aware and how these things happen inside us, right? Yeah, absolutely. So you've already mentioned, Deborah, and we've met before. Um, you've already mentioned about the conference, and of course, um, this year, because of the global pandemic, the conference is going to be virtual. So how are you planning to add value to your presentation in a virtual environment? Yes, I want to, to do some PowerPoints, but I, I want to conduce exercises because I, I understand NLP as a practical thing. So I, I prefer to don't talk more, but stay more doing exercises because I imagine that people who can really feel uh, how much they are centered or open or connected, you know, uh, to understand this coach model. Uh, I understand that if I talk and I can explain the model of SCORE, but if they think about a symptom and, and answer for themselves about that. So I, I really like to, to give classes, to practical, to, to make people feel inside what we are talking. So I, I, I can do this virtually too. It's not only uh, when we are with, with the, the person, I think we, I can ask uh, uh, questions for, for them and they will uh, ask inside and I can be with them like that. This is my intention. And, and of course, everybody in a virtual conference, everybody has a front row seat. So, um, yes. so they will yes. be blessed to be able to see and experience this fr from you. Yes. Um, yes. So, what does the conference, what does the NLP International Conference mean to you as, as a presenter and a delegate? And yes, for me, it's very important because I, as I said, I am working with NLP for more than 30 years. Yeah. So it's an international recognition about my work, I, in my point of view. When you, when, when you ask me to be a presenter, you are recognizing me as someone that is important in the field. And in Brazil, I am, but I, I will start to be <laughs> important, not important, not to be important, you know, in the way of to be proud, but a uh, recognition because uh, after more than 30 years uh, to, to, to be uh, invited to an international conference, conference that I know that it's going on for many years. I heard about that, but when I was here in Brazil and, and then I decided to go once to, to meet you in the, in the same year that Judy, Judy is a friend, uh, really, like we, 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 we talk uh, each other as a sister, you know, as a soul sister. Mm -hmm. So we, are, we really have a, a big, big relationship. And when, uh, when I realized that she will be the, the honor in that year, I said, no, I have to go there to, to be with her. And then it, 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 it opened. I went to be with her. And then she introduced me, you and many other people. And, and then you understand who I am because I'm in a country that is <laughs> so far away. <laughs> it's not in Europe or in the United States that people are more, uh, talk more. Uh, Brazil, uh, I think we st you start to know that there are many people in NLP in Brazil too. So for me, it's a recognition. It's very, very important. I'm very, very happy to be part of that, to be member of the association, to be part of all this. Because NLP, as I said, is part of my life. So it's a, I think it's a continuation, you know, about a, a process that I started in my 84. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah. Well, I mean, you, your reputation precedes you because, um, because 
we know of you as the, the mother of NLP in Brazil. Um, yes. So we're very honoured to have you presenting at the conference this year. Um, yes, it's, it's, it's funny, you know, when they call me mother, Karen, and I used to <laughs> joke, I used to joke that I'm more, uh, 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 not grandmother, when the, the, the mother of the grandmother. Because, <laughs> <laughs> yes, because I started. Great grandmother. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I, I started and I have people that open institutes that give practitioner and People that open institutes that give practitioners understand what I mean. So that's why I joke that I'm not only the mother. And there were other women in Brazil in the beginning, but they don't continue. I continue working. So that's why they say that I'm the, the mother here. <laughs> it's funny for me. <laughs> That's brilliant. Do we have some anybody there's, on? There's, there's no questions at the there's moment. No questions. So, so the great thing is that, that because we do this as a Facebook Live, then it's there for people to watch afterwards. And, and I'm sure there will be questions that may come up later um, when people get the opportunity to watch. Because um, it's eight o'clock here, in, it's quarter past eight here in the UK. So um, so it may be a bit late for some people, but it's, it's so lovely to see you, Deborah. Um, we're very much looking forward to your presentation at the conference. And as I said, it, it's called Systemic NLP as Human e e Evolution Tool. Um, and you can see Deborah on Sunday, the 16th of May at 18.30, that's 6.30 in the evening, um, BST, British time, British summer time. Um, we're very much looking forward to, um, to seeing you at the conference in May. Uh, so do join us and join Deborah um, for her presentation on Sunday the 16th of May. Thank you, Deborah. It's been really lovely to see you this evening. Thank you. Thank you for that. And thank you. And I'm, I'm looking forward to, to be in the conference. And I will say again, next year, I, I want to hug you because in Brazil, we hug a lot, you know. And I think this is the whole thing that people are uh one thing to do is hugging yeah <laughs> so not quite the same is it <laughs> <laughs> we, we will look forward to that you take care deborah you take thank care you. Too, deborah. bye thank you, thank you for all thank, thank you, you deborah